Welcome to another edition of the Budacom Telecoms Files. This time I would like to talk to you about smart meters. Uh, we've talked a couple of times uh, in the Budacom Files about smart grids, but the reality is that at the moment the emphasis of many utilities around the world is on smart meters. That was driven a couple, started to be driven a couple of years ago, let's say half, half a decade ago, by utilities who said, OK, we have to be able to um, uh, regulate a little bit better the peak load that we need in situations like, uh, you know, hot weather or cold weather and things like that. And we, sh we have to shave off some of that peak load. If we can do that, then actually we don't need uh, that many new gener generators anymore. So it was more in the interest of managing the utilities rather than looking at what the customer's uh, effect on that was. In the meantime, climate change came in. In the meantime, your smart meters as, as part of a smart grid were discussed, whereby you have far more interactive activity between the utility and the users. Uh, but obviously the early meters were not really based uh, on that concept. They were really based on a, a facility for the utilities. Uh, now we really start seeing some debate going on. For example, in Australia, in uh, the state of Victoria, we've seen that uh, the, they are leading the rollout of the smart meters and perhaps they are not all that smart, despite the fact that many of the utilities actually are taking smart grid as a concept into consideration. But uh, based on uh, government uh, regulations and policies, you know, the, uh, that's not necessarily aligned to the development of smart grid. And the Auditor General recently uh, s um, slammed the, 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 the government to say, hey, you know, this is not the right approach, you know, this is going to cost customers more, a smart meter, and they still, you know, don't have a lot of benefits from that. So uh, the, the Victorian government stepped in and actually said, okay, let's review the whole sort of situation. That might be a warning lesson, because I think if you really start looking at uh, smart meters and smart grids. Smart meters are part of a smart grid. You cannot roll out smart meters unless you have an overall plan for your smart grid and then you see where the smart meter fits in. The smart meter might indeed be one of the most important elements of the smart grid but you cannot develop smart meters unless you know what you're going to do with the, with the smart grid. It's estimated that over the next uh, couple of years something like 200 million meters are going to be rolled out. So I think we better get our, act to get our act together and know what we are doing and don't create a situation that in a couple of years, we, years time we have to say, oh my God, you know, we have to rip out all of these old meters and replace them with real smart meters because that's where the future, uh, where the future is. I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Budacom Telecoms Files. Um, uh, more information is provided at the end of the video clip. Uh, as always, I'm interested in your feedback. 